Well, it's been a pretty consistent rally throughout the morning. We've been up about 240, 250 points virtually throughout the entire day. The Dow's back above the 25,000 level. Let's move back to President Trump, who was talking about those possible tariffs against Mexico that was in the news conference with Prime Minister Theresa May. Watch this. And we are going to see if we can do something, but I think it's more likely that the tariffs go on and we'll probably be talking during the time that the tariffs are on and they're going to be paid. Okay, probably more likely that the tariffs go on. Joining us now, former Mexican ambassador to the United States, Arturo Sarokan. Mr. Ambassador, what happens if those tariffs are imposed next Monday? Well, it'll certainly cloud the ongoing conversations that will probably start tomorrow here in D.C. And it will create uh, significant domestic political problems, both for President Trump in the United States, as we've seen with GOP opposition on Capitol Hill building to these measures. And in Mexico, there's a poll that came out today that shows that 57 percent of Mexicans are against the Mexican president bending the knee on the immigration measures that Trump is demanding of Mexico. So, so it'll, 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 it'll constrain the, will, the wiggle room both countries have to try and solve this uh, in a constructive way. Now, President Obrador, he has signaled that he is willing to, to work with America. But my question is, what has Mexico done so far? Well, um, just in the six months now of 2019 alone, Mexico has repatriated, deported 75,000 Central American migrants back to Honduras, Guatemala, Mr. Ambassador, for, forgive me for interrupting, Mr. Ambassador, yep. but uh, the question is really about what has Mexico done since President Trump threatened these tariffs, uh, uh, you know, about a week ago? Uh, what you, have they you, done since? What, what's new you, you that can't, done? You can't, you can't enforce your way out of migration crises. That's not the way it's going to happen. You can't move the needle in seven days um, since the president uh, uh, put out his ultimatum. Uh, that's not going to happen. And it's very hard for a government to move based on these threats. If we continue to work as both countries have been doing since 2014, when we first had that very important uptick of un un unaccompanied minor migrants coming across Mexico into the United States, th then there's things that you can do in the medium and long term. You're not going to solve this hmm. in a week. Well, is there nothing you could do about... Well, look, just the other day, a large group of 1,000 migrants to simply walked across the border. On Memorial Day, it was 2,000 just in El Paso on one day. Is there nothing that Mexico could do just as a, sort of a statement, look, we're trying to do something here. We're going to stop this group. We're going to stop that group. Is there nothing that you could do short term to just to try to accommodate President Trump? I, I, I don't think you accommodate a bully, but having said that, if 75,000 deported just Central American migrants as a bully. Is, is not enough, um, wait, wait, I don't wait, know so, what so will be. We, you just labeled our president as a bully when we have thousands of people per day walking into our country from your country. We're a bully? Yes, you are. I would disagree with that, sir. Well, um, if, again, you don't think that 75,000 deported in the first six months of this year plus 18,000 that have already been returned to Mexican soil by the U.S. to wait their asylum hearings in the United States at an important economic cost for local municipal state governments on the Mexican side of the border. Again, what's your benchmark? What's your benchmark of success? You want Mexico to start shooting them on the border? No, no sir, I do not. No, no. I want Mexico to take rational action, state what they're going to do, and get on with it. After all, well, I, I, I don't think it's fair. I, I think it's reasonable to say that America is being invaded. And in the face of invasion, you do take strong action. And that's what our president wants to do. And the only way you're going to do it in a relationship as complex as this one is if both countries work together to solve the root causes of some of these issues. Sure. And I think that's happening now. I mean, I think talks are ongoing as we speak. Well, they, they, will, they will start tomorrow. OK. Mr. Ambassador, look, thank you very much for joining us. So we, we really appreciate your point of view. I want you to come back soon, too, because there's a lot to go at here. It's yes, there is. Interesting there issue. There is. And there's a lot at stake for both countries. Yes, sir, there is. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. We appreciate My it. My pleasure. Yes, thank sir. you for having me.